Hi guys, this is The Widgie Show. This is Jesse again, Overnight Camp Director. Today we are going to be making pinwheels, which is a really simple craft. It, it just takes a few things that you probably already have around your house. You just need some paper. This is just some scrap paper put on my desk. Um, some push pins, a pair of scissors, and a pencil. Now, uh, it's better if you have an unsharpened pencil so you don't accidentally poke yourself, but you could use a sharpened pencil. Um, if you need to, you just need to make sure the pencil has an eraser. So the first thing that you need to do is just take your piece of paper and you need to make it square. So if you have origami paper at home or something that is already square, that's great. But if you have a regular piece of paper, one thing you can do is just fold a corner over. So you just take this top corner and fold it to the other side and even it out and cut off the extra so you get a square. Just cut off the extra piece. And don't worry about it, it doesn't have to be a perfect square. It doesn't have to be exactly a uh, square like a perfect square, but it just has to be a general shape. And you're gonna fold it over diagonally once, and you're gonna flip it over, and you're gonna fold it diagonally again. So that you have two folded lines that make kind of an X on the paper. So it makes kind of an X shape. Um, so again, you're gonna fold it one direction so it makes a triangle, and then you're gonna fold it the other direction so it makes a triangle so you get that X shape. The next thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut it, um, not all the way through, but about uh, up to a half inch from the center. And you can just use that folded line as a guide. And you're gonna cut along the folded line and leaving a little bit of space before you get to that center. So you're gonna go one, two, three, and four. And again, it doesn't have to be exactly even. You can be a little bit uh, free with that, but you want it so that it has all the lines cut, but still is connected in the center. The next step is going to be a little bit tricky, and you may need a grown-up's help to make sure that you are not hurting yourself, but you're going to um, take each piece and fold it over. So you have four other triangle shapes. You're going to take one of the two corners, the same opposite corner, of all four and, and just bend it over without making a crease. So like this, you're just gonna fold it over once and hold it there. And then you're gonna go to the next triangle and take, again, the one of the corners and move it over two, one of the corners and move it over three, and one of the corners. So it's not hard to do that holding it up, so I'm just gonna do it. Um, so it's here on the table. And four, so you have four pieces down. And this is the part that gets a little bit of tricky. You want to take the pin and put it through the corners and through the center without poking your own self. So just poke it through the paper. And then you're going to take a pencil and you're going to poke it into the eraser. But you don't want to poke it all the way through and you don't want it to be all the way squished up against the eraser. You want to have a little bit of space there between the paper and the eraser with the pin where it can kind of move around. And then that's pretty much it. Oops, I just missed all my corners. So you want to make sure that all four of the corners are going through the pin and before it goes through the center. And again, into that eraser. And that's it. Pinwheel. Now this is a pretty big one. As you can see, it's a, it's a pretty big piece of paper. You can use any size piece of paper if you just have a magazine or a catalog at home that your parents don't need. You can just rip a page out. And it doesn't even have to be a great tear because you're just going to fold it over again to make that square shape that you need to make it. Into that square. Now, if you're going to decorate it ahead of time, like you want to color it on both sides, because remember, you're going to be folding it over. So if you color it on one side, but not the other, you're not going to see your drawing on both sides. So you want to make sure that if you are going to color it before you put it onto the thing, that you color both sides so that when you fold it over, you can see all of your drawing. Fold it over. Cuts. One, two, three, four, and you can take one corner each. One, two, 
three and four. And then make sure that you got all four of them with a pin going through it and put it into the eraser. And again, see now your drawing is on both sides and you have a little pinwheel. If you need to like kind of squish it so that your pieces are nice and around so that they're catching the wind, um, that's it. Real simple craft, real easy. Just from stuff that you probably have lying around your house. Have fun.